All right, guys, so today we're checking out the brand new Black Shark Lucifer T1 gaming true wireless earbuds. Now, a lot of you have probably heard of Black Shark before for their gaming lineup of phones, so it kind of makes sense that they've decided to make a gaming pair of true wireless earbuds. But what's kind of crazy though, is on Amazon, it shows that the retail price is 49 bucks, but for some reason, there is a 40% off coupon code, and I'm not really sure how long this is good for. Uh, so right now, you can really pick them up for 29 bucks, and I will go ahead and say this right now, uh, for 29 bucks, Bucks, especially the fact that it's a gaming pair that has a low latency mode. Uh, it even has the lighting to kind of fit the gaming theme. Uh, there's just some impressive things about these earbuds, especially from a well-known company. It kind of makes it a no-brainer at this price, but we still need to talk about all of the features that they do have. Uh, we need to talk about what all comes inside the box and talk about the sound. And although it's a steal at 29 bucks, we'll see if it's worth the $49 price tag. So to start with, these are using 10 millimeter drivers. So this is a fairly large driver inside of a pair of true wireless earbuds. Uh, these do have Bluetooth 5.2. And like I said, they also have a gaming mode that you can switch these into, which brings them to cutting down your latency up to 55 milliseconds. And so if you're really just looking for a pair of true wireless earbuds, uh, if you watch a lot of movies or TV shows, or you do a lot of gaming on your mobile device, this is one of those pairs I could recommend because that gaming mode just kind of cuts down on any kind of latency, or at least doesn't make it noticeable while gaming. And you know, that's pretty good, especially in this price range. Now, outside of that, if you are also looking for a pair to use outdoors, uh, these do come in rated at IPX4. Now that is kind of on the lower end, but you're gonna be fine if you sweat heavily, you're gonna be fine if it starts to rain. Uh, the only thing I don't recommend is dropping them into water. Now, as far as everything that they've included inside the box, it's pretty simple. You're getting the usual small, medium, and large silicone ear tips. Now, I noticed that the ear tips on these were a little bit firmer, uh, and usually the ear tips that come on earbuds out of the box fit me fine, uh, but I did have to switch up to the larger size uh, to make sure that it just sealed my ear a little bit better. So make sure that you find the right one that fits you. And then outside of that, the only other thing included is a USB-C cable. Now, this is one of the smaller cables you are going to have to keep up with this because the case on these is not a Qi wireless charging case. So it will rely on being charged through that USB-C cable. And speaking of charging, the battery life definitely is the one thing that really sucks about this pair of earbuds. Uh, on a single charge, the earbuds are only going to get around three and a half hours. Now that's not going to be good for some that sit there and just game on their phone for a long stretch of time. But I think three and a half hours, at least for most people, is going to be fine. Uh, you can throw them back in the charging case and the charging case uh, mixed with the earbuds, you're going to get around 35 hours total. And so now speaking of the charging case, people are either going to love or hate this design. Uh, the top of the lid has a see-through kind of like frosted black transparent look to it. And that's made so that you can see all the lighting that this case has because the earbuds light up once you put them in to show that they're charging. And then there's a light up front so that you can see how much battery life is on the case. In fact, the lights on the side actually match the one on the front. Uh, so there's just a whole lot of lights going on in this case. Now on the back, you can see the USB-C input for charging. And then when you open up the lid, that's where you see the earbuds. Now the earbuds still kind of have that small stem. It's not as long as like the normal AirPods. It's about the same size of maybe the AirPod Pros, but the design on it is a lot more straight lines. It has more of a squared off look. Um, I do think that it fits that whole gaming look. Now the earbuds also have lighting on them, but while you're listening to them, the light is not constantly flashing. Uh, so it's not one of those that's drawing a lot of attention. It's still one of those pairs that you can use. Like if you use them in bed, you don't have to worry. Like this light's going to be glowing and glowing up the room the whole time. Now, as far as the actual controls on the earbuds, they do use touch controls and sadly they don't have volume control and they easily could have had volume control on this pair uh, because they have a single touch to play and pause. You press and hold the right earbud to make the track go forward and you press and hold the left earbud to make it go backwards. You can also tap three times to switch it from gaming mode over to music mode. So it means that they didn't do anything with double tap. They could have easily added the double tap feature to be able to control the volume, but sadly you're gonna have to 
to pull out your phone or summon your smart assistant to control the volume. Now, as far as you guys that do like to use your earbuds for phone calls, this being a gaming set of earbuds, you would hope that the microphones are pretty decent on here, and they are. They actually picked up my voice fairly well. Uh, each earbud has dual mics, and I think it did a pretty good job of picking up my voice and also uh, blocking out a lot of the sounds around me. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys, so here is a mic test using the T1s. I think overall quality, it's actually really good. I think it picks up my voice very clean, but I also think it picks up bass tones pretty well uh, as far as phone calls go. But this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is the mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call public. So now let's talk about the sound. And the sound, because this earbud has a gaming mode and a music mode, it also has two different sound signatures. Now, listening to these in music mode, I will say actually in either mode, the bass is very boomy. It, it, just, it picks up sub bass really well. It's one of those that you're going to feel impact if there's explosions and things like that. But if you're somebody that likes to feel bass and you like you know, hip hop and pop where bass is like over accentuated a little bit more, this pair is excellent for that. But I will also say, that I prefer listening to these in gaming mode because I felt like in music mode, uh, the mids were kind of sitting a little far back. Now, once you switch it over into gaming mode, the mids get pushed forward a little bit more. And the reason they do that is while gaming, uh, you definitely wanna hear dialogue, but you also wanna be able to hear subtle things a little bit better. So pushing the mids forward definitely helps that. Uh, so I really just left these in gaming mode the whole time because the uh, treble in both modes is very bright. And so it just causes this sound signature. I would say in music mode, your bass is pumped up and your treble is pushed up quite a bit, but your mids just, in my opinion, take a little bit too much of a dive. So switching it over into gaming mode still leaves your bass and treble, you know, pretty turned up, but it pushes your mids up a little bit. Uh, so it causes less of a U shape, but it's bringing those vocals out better. And it just sounded better across all genres in that mode. Now I will say listening to metal, I was worried that the double bass of the drums was going to just drown everything out uh, because the bass is so strong on these, but I didn't have that issue. It was still able to keep everything separated enough where everything still came through clean, but I was still able to just feel impact when I needed to feel that. Now, one area where I do feel like these suffer a little bit is the sound stage and the sound imaging. Now, I don't know if it's because of the boomy bass. These just don't sound as open as I would like. Now, I will say in the music mode, I don't know if it's because the mids are so far back that it just sounds a little bit more distant, uh, but it seems artificial distance. Like, it, it just doesn't seem as natural as it does in other earbuds. So again, I just recommend leaving these in gaming mode. Uh, not only did it sound better, but the sound stage just seemed a little bit more natural. Now, as far as being able to tell where things were coming from, uh, this pair had no issues with that, especially because the trebles tuned up the way that it is and the mids once pushed forward, uh, details just came out a lot better. So really my overall opinion on these is if you don't mind the flashiness or the gaming style that these have and having a lower battery life on the earbuds at around three and a half hours if that doesn't bother you this is pretty much a hell of a deal at 29 bucks it's kind of a no-brainer because you can use this for all different types of media uh, just having a pair like this to use in those situations uh, at 29 bucks uh, is why this is easy to recommend so guys, that kind of wraps up the video on the brand new Black Shark Lucifer T1s. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.